This is Tim Worley with the Countdown Realty team at Keller Williams in San Antonio, and we are super excited about Restaurant Week. So today we are bringing you the perfect four course meal. Starting off at Jardine for some peach bellinis, heading over to Botica for an appetizer, snacks for dinner, and finally supper for dessert. Restaurant Week has been part of San Antonio's history since the year 2000, and they, in the last five years, introduced two weeks out of the year where you can get pre-fee menus for between $25 and $45. There are over 60 restaurants that participate in this week um, every single year, and we're super excited to bring you some of our favorites. So stay tuned for the perfect four course meal. All right, for our first course today, we're actually starting with a peach bellini at Jardine. Jardine opened in 2020, right here in San Antonio in the Botanical Gardens, and was opened by Jason Dady, a famous restaurateur in the San Antonio area. Now these peach bellinis are so delicious, topped off with some Prosecco and frozen peach. They're here right now. Here we are, we have some bellinis here. Okay, I gotta say, this is absolutely perfect on a day like this. It's hot out, it's probably 95 degrees and like 100% humidity. And this thing hits, it reminds me of like the best 7-Eleven slushy you've ever tasted in your life, topped with some amazing Prosecco. And of most cocktails, sometimes you don't get a full like fruit flavor and this thing tastes like an actual peach. So um, I'm really excited to start this thing off with these delicious peach bellinis. Psychic sex therapist. So Jardines is located inside the Daniel J. Sullivan Carriage House, which was built originally in 1896. So located on the grounds of the Botanical Garden, and we're sitting outside in Gertie's Garden. Um, the concept behind Jardine was to incorporate elements of Greece and Spain into the menu, and some of the top hits are definitely the deviled eggs and the uh, pan-seared octopus. Um, but you're gonna find a lot of various flavors and a lot of really um, insightful dishes that bring the garden life back into the Spanish and Greek style food. I like to drink a lot. On to the next one. Probably not gonna eat a whole sandwich. For today's appetizer, we're going to San Antonio's own Botica, the Asian Peruvian fusion restaurant for some delicious steam buns. Owned by Chef Geronimo Lopez, former Culinary Institute of America instructor, this place opened in 2016 and has been ranked one of San Antonio's top restaurants for the last five years. Let's go have some steam buns. So we're starting off today with a Paloma before we get our steam buns. And the Paloma here features a couple different things. So it's got some tequila, grapefruit, lime, and cava, which is not always in what you get in a typical Paloma. Botica always likes to throw a little bit something different in there. So they do have sushi, they have a wok, they have brasa, which is their like grilled asparagus or octopus, um, daily catch, things like that. We love uh, the menu here at Botica and come here all the time. So big fans, you should check it out, especially if you come here with a group, you can get a bunch of small plates, share everything, and have a really good time with the uh, cocktails they have. I'm so excited about these steam buns. It's crispy pork belly, caramelized onion hoisin sauce, uh, pickled cucumbers, and some red cabbage on a pillowy steam bun, and they're freaking delicious. Mmm. Such a solid bite. It's got a little bit of everything. The crispy pork against that like very soft bun, and then you get some of that hoisin and the uh, red cabbage. That is so delicious. Fair warning about the steam buns. They're covered in red pepper flakes. So if you eat them, 
dig in. Don't wipe sweat off your brow, because it gets real spicy. Nowadays, if everyone talks about you got something to say, but nothing comes out when you move your lips, just a bunch of gibberish. You might as well act like they've got about Dre. What's up? We're outside of Smacks right now to deliver the entree of the night. Smacks is a chicken sandwich place that opened up in 2018 as a pop-up, turned into a food truck in 2020, voted by San Antonio's Magazine, best food truck in San Antonio, and now they got a brick and mortar right here on Hildebrand. We're super excited to get a sandwich and show you guys what Smacks is all about. One. What's the best thing you got? Uh, my favorite thing is the number six, the barbecue mac and cheese. Woo! Super, super good. What's like, what's the go-to here though? Uh, yeah, the Nashville Hot. National, National yeah. Hot, let's do it. The late 80s and that early 90s had some really weird stuff going on. You had the Cabbage Patch Kids coming out with some very interesting pop culture, very random con conglomerate of um, ideas that got thrown into these weird baby dolls. And the antithesis of those weird baby dolls was even weirder garbage pail kids. People from the 80s will recognize these as some iconic wild stuff that you just don't see anymore. You got the Karate Kid, but his name is Ralph Macho. He's like making his own brains into um, hot dogs. I gotta say, Page Master has to be one of the best, most underrated animated films of the 90s. Small Soldiers, super top notch. Very intellectual, very challenging. So, up until about five years ago when I went to Nashville for the first time, I had never heard of Nashville hot chicken. And uh, I think it's because nobody had it in San Antonio. So, the fact that there's a Smacks Nashville hot chicken place right here in San Antonio now, I'm super excited and a little scared that I'm going to be here every week. So, let's see how it compares to Nashville hot chicken. This is your ticket to Flavortown. Okay. It's really nice, really crunchy texture to this fried chicken. I don't know what they're doing here, but it's uh, kind of unlike any fried chicken I've had in the area. It's not too spicy. It's got a lot of sweetness on it. Almost tastes like they soaked it in honey. But then you get those dill pickles, like classic dill flavored pickle that just cuts through all of that and sends you home with a delicious bite. <laughs> In the competition for the perfect chicken sandwich, Smacks brings the heat. Thanks to Chef Keenan Hendricks for uh, the hospitality and the awesome sandwich. We'll be back to try the crazy menu and look at some more 90s memorabilia. From here, we're heading to supper for a tasty dessert. We are here for the dessert course at Supper, which is located inside of Hotel Emma in the previous Pearl Brewery, um, built in the late 1890s. Now, this place has been around since 2016, has won a bunch of awards for what they do, and has an awesome menu from start to finish. But you have to see this cheesecake. Check this out. She gave me this purple cheesecake with what looks like some sweet potato and like some homemade marshmallows and some other stuff on it. I don't know, we're just gonna try it and see how it goes. Ooh, ooh baby. Take a look at that. I'm not exaggerating, that's so, so good. And as somebody who comes from the Pennsylvania area, we love cheesecake. It's really hard to top my grandma's homemade cheesecake. And sorry, grandma, this is pretty good. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you for joining us for our perfect four course meal to celebrate restaurant week in San Antonio. I hope you guys get out there this week before it ends and experience a couple great restaurants. And in the future, uh, know that this thing happens twice a year, once in January and once in August. You can prepare to have yourself an awesome meal. Stay tuned for more content from us um, about things like real estate, architecture, 
food, breweries, everything that you can think of in the San Antonio environment, we'll be bringing to you over the next couple weeks and hopefully for the next months to come. Anyway, stay tuned, like and share this video, and have an awesome day. Thank you.